everyone, I'm Michaela and welcome to the Food Binder. Today we are going to be making healthy banana muffins. These taste amazing and are so easy to make. So let's jump right into the recipe. First, we're going to brush a standard muffin pan with oil. I'll be using this avocado oil spray, but you can use any other oil or even cupcake liners. Also, make sure to preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, in a large bowl, add in your oil and choice a sweetener. Today, I'm using maple syrup, but you can use honey, sugar, or anything else that you like. However, I recommend using maple syrup or honey since they aren't refined sugars and give a good flavor. After you've given those a mix, add in your egg and mix again. Now add in your mashed bananas, oat milk, or any milk that you prefer. You can even use water. Then add in baking soda, vanilla, salt, and cinnamon. Feel free to add in other spices like nutmeg. After all of that has been given a good mix, we're going to mix together the rolled oats and whole wheat flour. It's important to mix these two together so that the oats get coated in the flour, which makes sure that they don't sink to the bottom of the batter. By the way, the rolled oats are totally optional, and the total amount of flour is a half cup and six tablespoons. I know that that might seem like a weird amount, but trust me on this. Now we are going to bring back the other bowl and fold in the oats and flour. A tip is to make sure not to overmix or it will make a dense muffin. We're basically done with our batter now, but today I'm going to be adding some mix-ins. I decided to add some walnuts to some of the muffins and chocolate to the rest. Also, for the same reason as the oats, coat the walnuts as well as the chocolate in some flour. Now, I already put some of the batter into the bowl of the walnuts and I'm going to save the rest of the batter for the chocolate. After I fold it in the mix-ins, I'm going to bring back the muffin pan and fill each muffin tin two-thirds of the way full. By the way, this recipe makes nine muffins. On each muffin, I like to put a sprinkle of cinnamon and for the walnut muffins, I put some rolled oats on top and a whole walnut. For the chocolate muffins, I sprinkled on some coconut sugar. Finally, we're going to bake the muffins for 20 minutes or bake them until a toothpick comes out clean. The time it bakes will vary for everyone since every oven is different. After the muffins are done, I like to run a knife around the muffins to make sure that they come out of the pan. And that's it. These muffins stay fluffy and soft for days. I love that these muffins are nutritious but delicious and customizable for everyone's needs. Let me know in the comments if you tried out this recipe and how it turned out. I hope you liked this video and thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and turn on your notifications for more great recipes.